Hello everyone, this is Aida Golami from Agrimat Self Research Company and in today's video I'm going to show you how to concatenate strings using Excel. So as you can see, a brief description of my video is shown here. First I'm going to uh, explain what is concatenate function and um, what is the other way um, to concatenate cells or um, data besides concatenate function. So concatenate function is basically what you can call using an equal mark first and then typing concatenate. So as you can see here, concat concatenate is um, you know cut to concat in Excel 2019 and 2016 but uh, it has the same functionality exactly as uh, concatenate so i double clicked on that and then it says um, define your text number one and um, so on to the end so the text number in so um, concatenate uh, what what concatenate does is that it sticks together um, any numbers, um, reference cells, text, or um, so on and so forth. Okay, so here I want to say I am 25. So I first um, put double quotation, um, write I, then put a comma mark, and then another um, double quotation, M, another quotation, comma and 25 uh, close the parenthesis and click enter and you can see that it shows these um you know um, data uh, sticked together but why did i put this double quotation for text and not for number that's because uh, actually capability of excel that can have um one function in another function so if you hear we do um, quotation marks if you start to write it it actually um, it um, it thinks you're going to call another function so that's just um, one thing about Excel and because of that you should put text on double quotation but if you're going to, um, you know, use it as a reference cell, which we're going to go in the other um, segment actually, but for explaining here, if you use it as a reference cell, it doesn't have any problem. So say for example, these two, it doesn't have any problem, okay? So that's just uh, a tip to consider. And is there any other way to concatenate? Yes, there is, and that's using ampersand uh, sign, which you can see here. Using ampersand, you can do exactly what uh, is um, you know um, you're able to do with concatenate. And the only difference uh, with concatenate is that. Uh, with ampersand you don't have any limitations in terms of the number of cells or uh, values to concatenate but a concatenate function does have this um, limitation so i'm going to have an example with ampersand also i want to have i ampersand uh, i want to have i ampersand m and um, another ampersand and um, let's say 25 so you can see that uh, it exactly does the same as concatenate a uh, function so let's um, head to another segment of this video so working with the reference cells i just um mentioned that you can work with reference cells without any quotation marks so i put a, uh, a, an equal mark then i type concatenate and I just need to select the cell, put a comma, and select the other cell. And you can see that it shows exactly these two, um, you know, um, these two cells sticked together. For having, uh, you know, um, any space between them, you can simply add a quotation mark, space, quotation mark, then another comma, 
and you can see that there's the space between two, uh, between these two uh, texts. So for working with columns, actually a concatenate function doesn't get any um, you know array. So if I uh, click on this um, um, column, you know if I select this column here, go for concatenate and select this array put a comma and um, for example i want uh, a slash mark so that it it can be shown uh, like a date and then another comma and if i select the other column then close the parenthesis you can see that it doesn't show me like um it, it doesn't work well okay so that's another tip so you just want to select one um, click uh, on um, comma and have this uh, character here another comma and select the other one close the parenthesis and then here you will copy this cell to other cells and that's how it works for characters, as you have uh, already seen that uh, what I did for character here, you can have any character that you want in concatenate function of yours just by, um, for example, clicking on, on my uh, text here and then I want this character to be included. I just want to put a comma, uh, put a quotation mark, and then this, uh, for example, any other, um, you know, character, and then put another comma and select this other um, cell. Close the parenthesis, and you can see that it is printed here. But also, the other way to do exactly this is to select the reference cell. So if I want to use it as a reference cell, it's so more easy and that's it. But for having characters uh, with a reference cell, you want to put it in the, you know, um, you want to have it in quotation marks. So I want this character and this other character and I want them to stick together and that's it. But the end and the last tip, but of course not least, is how you work with various formats. So here I want to show this date format uh, with uh, this PCP format and uh, the value here, the number here. What I will do is that when I want to have, uh, when I want to use this as um, reference cell, uh, Excel can understand that these two are um, the same but this is another format this is date format so what you will do here so let's um, play it wrong to see that it doesn't work so I want to have precipitation in so with um, with a space in um, this date um is um this value i close the parenthesis and you can see that this date is not uh transferred here correctly so it, this problem won't of course be solved with putting this quotation marks because when you put this quotation marks it it just prints whatever that is uh, included in this quotation marks so now it says uh pcp in p3 is uh 256 so you can see it but the you know the, the solution for this problem is to um is to uh, convert the format to text so what i will do here is to call the text format i click on that and then i select my cell and then it says that uh, you should define your format text so my format text is in double quotations of course 
and is month month um day day and yeah yeah i closed the um double quotations and let's see we want to close the red parentheses and i guess that's it so pcp in this date is 256 so i guess that's it for today's video i hope you learned something new please don't forget to give this video a thumb up and subscribe tagging myself channel i will see you in the next video and bye